Hello, my name is Andrea. I'm a track two senior and I'll be talking about my study abroad experience in Rome, Italy. So I studied abroad at John Cabot University, which is an American university in Rome for five weeks in the summer of 2019 after my sophomore year. And I took one lower division class called Ancient Rome and its Monuments. So a little bit about why I chose this program in particular, as opposed to IVHQ or any of the nursing related study abroad programs is I wanted to take a university course because I knew I wouldn't be able to do something like that after I graduated. With IVHQ, I knew I could do that after I graduated, so I knew that this in itself would be a unique experience. And I wanted to do something that was non-nursing related, and specifically I wanted to study something in the classics, humanities, art, just something in that era because I'm interested in that. And I thought Italy would be the perfect place. I ended up choosing Rome and John Cabot University in particular because they offered a class that met a lower division requirement that I was missing and I knew people who had studied abroad at JCU before and they had a great experience. I also attended online informational sessions through JCU and they provided me with more information, pricing, and all of that really solidified my decision to study at JCU. The class I chose in particular was Age 290 Ancient Roman and its Monuments. So this class was an on-site class. Every day we met up with our professor at a different archaeological site, museum, or monument around Rome. He taught us like on-site so we could see what he was talking about, the different monuments, and he gave us like a sheet of paper to reference while he was talking. So we went to the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, the Capitoline Museums, and then our professor also showed us different things around Rome because Rome is huge and there's always something to be discovered around every corner. There's so much history around Rome that I think would go unnoticed had I not taken this class. So things like going to Tiber Island, we, we went to the catacombs, we went to Ostia which is a 45 minute train ride outside of Rome which is kind of like on the coast. We also saw different obelisks, different monuments, so many different monuments. We learned about so much of the history from my professor. The class was about two hours long each day, four days a week. In the beginning of the course also we chose certain days and certain topics that we wanted to present on. We would give our presentations at the sites that we were exploring that day. So there would usually be one or two people giving a presentation each day. There were about 10 people in my class, including me, and they were all American students. Since this was an like, American university, it really does attract a lot of American students. There were also some Egyptian students as well, but that was kind of the only international presence I had. But in my class, there were no international students. For the workload, there was two quizzes, a final, a final paper, a midterm, and a presentation. And that was very manageable. It was very doable within those five weeks. I didn't have to buy any books, any other materials. It was the textbook that we used was available online. It was also available in the library that was on campus and the, pretty sure the library was open every day. Overall, I really enjoyed the class. In the beginning, it was a little hard to adjust to because some of the places we would walk to were 30 minutes to an hour walk away. A lot of the time, it would be really hot and humid, especially if we were viewing a monument that was outdoors. We would have to find shade each time, but that wasn't really a problem. It was mostly getting to the place we were meeting up. It was very, very hot and humid. So I would recommend this class for someone who has a high tolerance to that or someone who doesn't really mind that. Overall, the university as a whole was really accommodating. In the beginning, we had a two or three day orientation and we were assigned student ambassadors. And in my group, the ambassador took us around Rome and kind of how to navigate the transit services, how to get a bus ticket, where the nearest grocery stores were, um, things like that, which kind of helped us accommodate to life in Rome better. The university also offered different opportunities for students. So I'm pretty sure they had volunteer opportunities. They had activities which you could pay for, including wine tasting classes, cooking classes, um, certain, like different overnight trips, day trips. There was a lot of different things that you could sign up for. The university also held a few trivia nights, which were fun. They had food and like people would come down and just hang out. So another campus that was closer to the Genie Glow residence was the Gorini campus. And there 
They had printing services, a computer lab, the library. There was a nice rooftop courtyard and ping pong tables, another like many courtyards really. And just places to hang out, study, things like that. In terms of housing and meals, housing is provided by the university and in my summer session, we stayed in the Gianicolo residence. The housing's apartment style comes with a kitchen, a, a washer and unit, dining area, a living area. My unit in particular, there was four bedrooms and there were two singles, two doubles, and two full bathrooms. Also, while there was no dryer in unit, there were drying racks available and there was AC in every room. So in the Gianicolo residence, there was a small gym in, on the bottom floor and they had a few treadmills, a few bikes, and free weights. And they also held workout classes there a few times a week. And in terms of meals, there is a kitchen in every apartment, refrigerator, stove, oven, microwave, kettle. So it is totally possible to cook your own food while you're there. Nearest grocery store was about a 15 minute walk. It was pretty small, but it had all the basics. I did opt for the meal plan about like a week in just because I didn't feel like cooking for myself anymore. I chose the smallest meal plan available, which was 20 meals. And that lasted me the entire time, apart from that first week. And the cafeteria is located like about a 15 minutes walk from the residence hall and it's located in the Tiber campus which is also where some classes are held. In terms of what food is provided, it's a buffet style, there's a salad bar, vegetables, pasta, meat, fruit, dessert, a lot of options. So I went there for lunch and then I also got a to-go box and it was like a decent size to-go box and I got that before I left, so, so I also had dinner provided. So I basically got two meals in one out of that meal plan. On days when I didn't want to do the meal plan, there were tons of places to eat in Trastevere. Everything, I mean, the food was amazing. The coffee, the espresso, cappuccinos, those were amazing. And the gelato was great. And it was a cultural reset, honestly. The pricing that they provide on their website for how much the program will cost in total was pretty accurate except for the fact that I didn't buy any books or supplies. And because JCU has a partnership with SDSU, they offer a 10% discount on their tuition. But for that reason, there are no scholarships available or you can't apply any scholarships to that program, I believe. You can, however, use your financial aid to help out with the cost of the tuition. Overall, I loved my time in Rome and at JCU. It was located in a great part of Italy in the Trastevere district. The Trastevere district is known for being like the hip, young, vibing place. So that was really fun to experience. I also didn't go with anyone that I knew, didn't have any friends when I went, but that was really what I wanted out of my experience because I really just wanted to get out of my comfort zone. I just think it was a really good experience to get to know people outside of SCSU, outside of nursing, and in a completely new environment. I really overall just pushed me out of my comfort zone. That's something that I never would have thought I would do, but it was a really valuable experience for me. I recommend this class in particular if you are interested in art, ancient Roman history, ancient Roman culture, religion, pagan religion. Also, if you're interested in learning about Roman emperors, wars, daily life of an ancient Roman person. It really just gave me a different perspective and appreciation for Rome and how it evolved and how influential Rome really was in ancient times and even how you can see that in the architecture. In general, I'd recommend Rome for someone who wants the opportunity to explore Europe. Rome is a very central part of Italy and transportation is really accessible. So if you wanna take a day trip, a weekend trip, Rome has lots of train lines. There's two airports. In terms of weekend trips, since class was only four days a week, we didn't have class Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So a lot of the times people would leave Thursday afternoon, Thursday night after their classes had ended and go to different places either around Italy or even around Europe. I personally stayed within Italy my entire time there because there were just so many things that I wanted to see. So I went to Florence with some friends that I met through study abroad and we stayed there for a few nights. I also went to the Amalfi Coast where I went swimming, took a boat tour around um, Sorrento, Capri, Positano, um, saw Pompeii. I even met up with people from SDSU during my trip. 
Um, I met up with a friend. We went to Venice and like Como and that was a whole adventure in itself. And I just took the train to all these places. It was very easy to understand, very easy to get a ticket. And the trains are very, very nice. Um, especially the high speed trains, they can take you so far, so fast. The high speed train to Florence was 45 minutes, I'm pretty sure. Venice, it was about four hours, so that was a little longer, but it was still very accessible. In terms of smaller day trips, there's a lot of places you can go to. For example, I went to Santa Marinella, which is a beach. It was very crowded though, but there was a nice little castle like right on the beach and also took the train there, very accessible. And I also went to Frascati, which is another town 45 minutes outside of Rome, accessible by train. There's just so many things to do in Rome and around Rome that you'll never get bored. I stayed there for five weeks and I feel like I just scratched the surface. There are so many things that I didn't get to do. Overall, I would recommend this program for someone who wants to do a longer term study abroad. So five weeks is both not a lot of time and a lot of time, but spending a lot of time in one city allowed me to get to know the city better and be less of a tourist because I had the opportunity to do it at my own schedule basically. So I had a lot of flexibility in where I wanted to go and how I wanted to go about it because I wasn't tied down to a strict schedule. And once I got to spend a lot of time in that area in Rome, I feel like I got to appreciate both the great parts that I loved, like the culture, the architecture, the history, I mean, the beauty. It's, be it's a beautiful place. But also notice some of the things I didn't like so much, such as, you know, the graffiti, the heat, the humidity. There was a garbage problem, apparently. But I think because I stayed there for so long, I started to appreciate the city as a whole and not just like the shining touristy parts. So that was my study abroad experience. I would definitely recommend this class, this course, this university, Rome in general. Anyone really who wants to study abroad. I wish I could have stayed for longer than five weeks. So yeah, thanks for watching.